हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैशिन लर्निंग टुडे एज ए पार्ट ऑफ प्रेडिक्टिव एनालिटिक्स और मैशिन लर्निंग से विल इलाबोरेट द डिटेल्स ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट and then the steps of logistic regression method and how it is been implemented using excel illustration also we'll conclude the session of logistic regression so this is the overall plan of today's session on logistic regression remember in business forecasting so far we have discussed so many models we have discussed the regression analysis also but whether it's a single reg uh, linear regression or multiple regression but in that case when you use regression the concept of regression was the basic regression was you have independent variable you have dependent variable and you try to find the causal relationship or linear relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable how the dependent variable is been explained by independent variable the direct linear relationship we calculate in regression basic regression i'll show you today also the fundamental difference between uh, linear regression and the logistic regression but in logistic regression when it comes to the basic understanding of the definition of logistic regression here it is also another statistical method or say machine learning approach but here your dependent variables will not consider the continuous value your dependent variable like y will be called as a predicted variable that predicted variable will be depend on the predictor variables which are nothing but the independent variables but the outcome of your model logistic regression model will be dichotomous it will be like 0 and 1 like yes or yes or no kind of thing it will not consider the actual value of y this is the fundamental difference between the logistic regression and the linear regression here we actually call the entire process of logistic regression method as a one of the classification method so let's understand how that how this model work here you can see logistic regression is a statistical method used for predicting the probability of an outcome probability of an outcome based on one or more predictor variables like independent variables so here we don't calculate the value of y value of y like say here we calculate the probability of the outcome for example therefore we call it as a classification method categorical outcome will be considered the outcome variables will be categorical dependent variable generally that is called categorical variable which we will need to calculate through this method of logistic regression for example you can think about suppose you know so whether you know in stock market whether to buy a stock or sell a stock or hold a stock the decision could be outcome could be yes no kind of thing right you might say sir then how come the probability are coming i'll explain that there are many example of logistic regression suppose in the in the banking sector you like to give a loan right whether you the bank would like to approve the loan to a client or not what are the independent variable or predictor variables the independent or predictor variables could be say you know the income of the person it could be the asset and the debt all these things credit score based on that the bank will decide whether to approve the loan or not so the outcome the decision how much amount of loan they are predicting or they are approving that is not the issue here the concept here is that whether to approve the loan or not that is called the logistic regression that we are left to find but that whether to approve the loan or not like you know approve the loan or not like yes or no that we need to find like one or zero say that you need to calculate through logistic regression but how you will calculate through the probability outcome through a function called the symboid function and through that you will calculate the probability first and then that will convert into a categorical outcome zero and one there are many applications like you know customer churn predictions predicting if a customer whether the customer will likely leave the store or not or leave the leave the service or not that can also be you know 
calculated through this predict logistic regression like you know you might have like the buying pattern different type of product they are buying so all this past data you have the consumer behavior you can study and based on that you can predict whether the customers will leave the service or not or so this kind of you know churn prediction are been very popular as an application of logistic regression insurance claim there are many fraud claims comes in insurance industry in that case you need to use logistic regression you have to and you need to improve the or calculate the accuracy rate of your prediction whether the claim from a client insurance client is a genuine claim or it's a fraud claim this is a very popular example of logistic regression in insurance industry also similarly say gender profiling whether you know in the office or in a different domain we use say you know whether the candidate is a man or woman so that you can also you know decide based on the different you know pattern of the you know different uh, different activities or say different nature or the characteristics of a candidate you can classify man or woman kind of thing so there are many such applications of logistic regression whether the candidate will get a uh, will score in the exam say pass or fail so this kind of exam uh, like applications you can also you know how much how much hours the candidate is studying based on that also you can take a call whether the candidate will pass or fail based on the past data and the logistic regression model so how this model fit and how does it does it work that we will understand today here we have written few more aspects of this you know logistic regression as a introductory part here you can see we will deal only the binary dependent variable having two possible outcomes so there are you know many more possible like you know say success failure yes no you can see success failure yes no buy or don't buy fault or default say loan survive or die i'll give examples from couple of all this today you will get to know so these are all you know dichotomous application of logistic regression that means outcome will be binary two possible cases but there might be more than that like a multinomial like you know more than two outcome buy hold sell so this type of classification can also be done as outcome variable so these are called multinomial there will be you know like original logistic regression are also been there the different type of classifications are there so today we will consider only on the binary dependent variable like yes or no or zero and one kind of thing with two possible outcomes therefore we will code the values of the binary variables response as zero or one right now this they should be independent all the outcomes or say you know should be independent as well as the observations of the independent variables should be independent to each other there should not be any multipolarity like, like the regression analysis we do the as, as a assumption that also we will be implementing here also we will be considering that also that uh, there should be no multipolarity among the independent variable now based on this assumption and the based on this basic understanding of background let us understand in deep the difference between the linear regression and logistic regression because our objective is to understand the logistic regression but it is very much similar like the linear regression so because it's also regression so here you need to understand what additional aspects we are covering in logistic regression which are not there in linear regression and what is the advantage of logistic regression and how we do model it so let us understand that first point both are supervised learning because your dependent variable is there here also one outcome variable will be there so therefore both are supervised learning so you are supervising the machine you are asking the machine or say system or your algorithm that you predict so therefore you are supervising the system therefore both are supervised model this is called supervised regression model this is called supervised classification model why it is a, not a simple regression model it is a classification model because your outcome are not the actual value of y your outcome are classified into category right like yes no buy hold like the example that i have shown you so therefore like zero one kind of thing binary so therefore we call it a classification model also at the same time your basic regression are called as a predict predicting the continuous outcome right like y can be anything like 1 2 3 4 5 6 anything any continuous variable also it can take any real value but like money cost etc but here your predicting variables or the outcome are categorical as i told about like a binary kind of thing zero or one right or yes or no kind of thing die or survived or say you know default or not default also this in linear regression the models the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable through continuous outcome of dependent variable which i told and it can take any real value whereas in logistic regression it models the relationship between the independent variable and the probability of the binary outcome of the system so remember the basic difference here you can see here it is just a simple relationship right between the dependent variable and independent variable but here it says that it models the relationship between the independent variables between the independent variables and the probability of outcome as a binary 
decision making. Look at here. The probability are being calculated using the help of independent variable. So, this is the difference part. So, y will be replaced here with a different function that is called sigmoid function or logistic curve. How that works that we will understand. So, this is the overall you know concept or difference between the linear regression and logistic regression. Here you can see simple regression analysis. So, here you know if you have a data say for a given x say x and y you can fit a line right. So, this is what your simple regression, but this graph is nothing but the same graph, but when your data are you know plotted like this way the x values are plotted in this way then how will fit this line that we will discuss and we will convert the concept into a logistic regression model. But when it comes to the logistic regression as I told this y will be replaced with a odd ratio of log function ln function. So, that will convert eventually into a formula called symboid function formula and that will be nothing but the probability of your outcome. Look at the probability of your outcome. It is not binary yet, it is a pure probability. It could be the range of p which be 0, less equals to p, less equals to 1. Remember, the outcome is we are talking about binary or the yes or no kind of thing categorical. But effectively the outcome will be the formula of symboid function of this graph will be like this. But we will classify them at the end into binary of 0 or 1. We will classify them like hold the stock or or say you know sell the stock or the person has died or person is survived. So, this type of you know yes no kind of thing approve the loan or do not approve the loan yes or yes or no, but there will be a probability in between. So, 0 0.45, 0 0.75. So, th then you will be confused right whether to approve the loan or not that will understand and then after, after that you will put a cut off point in the middle and then you classify then you classify your data or the outcome into two category yes or no. So, therefore, this is called the basic logistic regression with binary outcome. Now, let us illustrate this how this calculation are been done and how this is been developed the method of logistic regression. So, here we have come to the normal screen and here you can see this is the basic regression, basic regression. So, what we have discussed that I am trying to illustrate how the transition are been happened from a logistic basic regression to a logistic regression when the data are given in a or data the observations of the outcome are being required in a categorical format. Let us understand that now. But as I told we will calculate the probability and that probability will be converted into categorical outcome at the end. But now first understand this is your say regression. Now what is the regression means? It is suppose x this is your y let us start with the scratch again and this is your data say right this is your data and you can fit a line like y equals to beta 0 plus say beta 1 x say beta 1 x say right or say only one variable if you have more than one variable you can then add more. Suppose here in a two dimension we can understand the concept. So, we are focusing only on two dimension concept now right. So, this is your basic regression. Now, if, if your data are given say you know most of the data of y are falling in this side and another data are falling in like this side say the, out, the y value. In that case how will fit your regression? How will fit your regression for this data? If you fit this line it is going up it is a linear regression like y equals to say alpha plus say beta x or say whatever. So, it is a linear line. So, it can go up to any infinite range right it can go down also. So, how will restrict that because your outcome should be you know in a probability value as I told the probability the, the occurrence of um, observation should be measured through probability not through the actual value of y. So, you cannot put this type of line. So, you need to cut this line right somewhere you need to cut this line so that it should not go the, there should be a ceiling it should not go beyond 1 it should not go below 0. So, you need to put a ceiling. So, in order to put a ceiling you need a function which will capture this type of nature of the graph. So, that the function should capture say let me open a pen you will get to know the function should capture a, the nature of the outcome in this manner. So, so that your most of the data are been covered and it is not going above it is not going this side it is not going below the 0 point. So, therefore, these points are being also covered this is your x, but this y value look at this y we are replacing with say probability right suppose we will discuss that, but data observations are here say for the timing. So, observations are here say. Now, what happens since observations are here most of the here could be couple of observations, but most of the observations are about lying here and here. 
so we need a function which will replace this y equals to alpha plus beta x or say you know y equals to you know beta 0 plus beta 1 x the way we have written in our today's session so uh, the notation let us use that similar notation therefore if this type of linear regression are there you cannot fit the actual data effectively it is a wrong prediction are coming because it is going up and going down also so you have to cut you have to put a ceiling in below as well as the in the top also this type of ceiling can be represented through symboid function through symboid function look at whatever the value of y say or x whatever you can put z also whatever the value of function you can generally the symboid function are being defined like this fx equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x so this this is the you know symboid function formula or people define fz say equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z sometimes people define it like this way also you know people define it equals to e to the power z by you know 1 plus e to the power z but we will define our you know formula of symbiot function through this particular relationship so now how does it work so therefore since you, you cannot take this particular graph because it it is going up or it is going down you have to cut somewhere so you need a function like this so that function are been developed through symbiot function or logit function and that will be replaced in in place of this basic regression line will replace through this and that can be defined the relationship of the data and the data means indep independent variable data and the probability can be defined with a logistic regression formula this is the final formula of your logistic regression how it has been developed i will explain in the next slide now let us understand how this logistic function is developed from this symboid function right so this is the you know general formula of the symboid function which i have mentioned here you know generally people define like you know, as i told if people define by 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z so this way you can also you can define it's a function of that you know you can you know you can mention this also f y this, this this is nothing but this f y is nothing but you can develop as a later stage you know in terms of p which will develop like this right so how this you know uh, f y function are been calculated or replaced through you know this is f y say is replaced through this function that we will discuss this is nothing but the probability this will be converted into probability which i have mentioned as a p but how this works and how the logistics function are developed let us see here so this is the overall function because you cannot you know put the line that you have to cut and there also you have to cut you have to put a ceiling in both side and you need a function like this so therefore we are putting this s type graph or say symboid graph right now this is the function of the probability right so symboid function we have captured say now since p is nothing but your probability and earlier you had the line say y equals to say beta 0 plus say beta 1 x right but that we are going to replace we will replace that because you cannot put the line regression line you need to put the symbiot function so we will put this for use this formula for the time being it is a probability but we will use this formula as i mentioned the symbiot function are nothing but 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x a so this formula say, say z say so this formula are the basic symbiot function formula but let us see how we can calculate this particular logistic regression model so p is here so if you calculate 1 minus p if you calculate 1 minus p i can you know write this in a simpler manner it would be 1 minus this value 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus a beta 0 plus beta 1 x right it will be look this look like this and after rearranging your after rearranging your value of p so let me write here p by 1 minus p will be if you do this this by this this and this if you take these two value here it would be e to the power beta 0 plus beta 1 x after the calculation if you take p by this ratio p by 1 minus p this value by this value it will be you know if you after calculation it will be like you know e to the power minus of beta 0 plus beta 1 x by 1 plus e to the power minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x beta 1 x 
So if you do that, do that, the denominator will be all cancelling out and it will be ultimately effectively after uh, this adjustment, this e to the power minus of beta 0 plus beta 1 of x will go up and it will become like this. So effectively you found this formula now. This p by 1 minus p is what? It is nothing but the odd value. Probability p is the probability, the success, the occurrence of the chance of success. 1 minus p is the chance of failure. So this ratio are called the odd, odd ratio. So we call it as a odd of the function. Now if you take ln of, now this is the formula for your intermediate understanding. But the logistic function formula is here. How will you get it? Take the ln in both sides. If you take the ln on both sides, this ln of both sides, ln of both sides, here this value will remain like this. The left hand side will become this and right hand side will become ln and exponential cell value will cancel out and the entire simple formula of linear relationship will come. If it is one variable, it will be like this. If it is a more than one variable, it would be look like plus a beta 2 x 2 kind of thing if it is a more than one independent variable. But overall, we are focusing only one independent variable. So overall, your formula will be like this. This is the logistic regression formula and it is been derived from the probability function. Look at here. So this is the formula. Here, in this case, your p lies between say to some extent 0 to 1. But when you take p by L 1 minus p, it is to some extent you know 0 to uh, say infinite its, its ranges come. So in order to put the range of ceiling, you take the ln of both sides and it is to some extent it is become minus infinity to plus infinity. What does it mean? This right hand side is your actual real value of x right and it is a linear combination. So it can take minus x1 can be anything, x can be say independent variable, it can be minus value, it can take positive real value also, high, large value also. So it has a infinite range, right? So therefore your left hand side should also be look like this. So when you put a ln value, effectively it takes care of the range from lower infinity to minus infinity. So the relationship is been well established effectively and this formula are called the logistic regression formula. But in calculation, we will use this basic symbol function formula p equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power like this, p equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus this y y is nothing but y, what? y is nothing but 1 by 1 plus, this y you have replaced 1 by e to the power minus of beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So this formula we will use in our calculation of logistic function. And look at here, how we have, look at here now, how we have replaced this function. You can see, look at here, this was your data sets and data sets were like this here, couple of data suppose here. You will see when I will draw a couple of examples, you will get to know how the data are been scattered. Because data are been scattered or the plotted like this way, outcome variables. So therefore, you need the replacement of logistics uh, regression level line and you need a symbiote function or logit function and therefore, you need this type of formula and you replace and which will scatter the pattern of the data as a S shape graph. That is it. This is your logistic regression model, straight line one or your linear regression model which you are replacing now with a symbiote function and the corresponding relationship of logistic regression have been developed. This is for only understanding of logistic regression formula. But in calculation, we will use this formula to calculate the probability value. Now let us summarize the process. Now the point here is that, remember, overall we understood that and the, the, the we estimate the probabilities of the observations belonging to a class especially say p equals to 1 say success as a binary case which determines the probability on the observations belonging to a class 1 say approve the loan, right. But there could be another case that do not approve the loan, so in that case it could be 0 say. So there are two class yes or no, so 0 case will fall in this side and 1 case will fall in this side approve the loan. So you need a middle point right, cut off point right, say cut off point cut off point. So this cut off point sometimes people use as a you know say point 0.5, point 0.5. So whatever the probability are coming for any new new candidates or new you know calculation process or observations of independent variables, you will get a corresponding probability. So that probability will define whether the outcome will be yes or no, categorical, whether it will be approved or not approved. So that will be decided based on the new variable and the formula of that once you develop the formula. You might say that sir how will find the values of formulas? This 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 formula, this beta 0 and beta 1 are nothing but the coefficients of logistic regression which can be calculated through you know any software or say you know maximum likelihood function. So we are not focusing that but, but once you understand the formula and the corresponding beta 0 and beta 1, I will show you in Excel how this you know all this entire formula have been calculated and the probability function can be developed. Once that is done, your entire structure is ready of logistic regression 
and remember this is nothing but your odd value right success by failure and this can be defined like this way probability of success by failure is nothing but your odd and other way, in other way probability is nothing but odd by one, one plus odd we call it a odd ratio odd ratio it has been used sometimes for any different calculation on the application domain for different data sets so therefore this is the overall you know summary of your logistic regression where the how to default develop the cutoff and how what is the p value as a symbol function and how you are converting that p value with their symbol function to a logistic regression model this is what your model right this is what your model final model of logistic regression now let us understand the cutoff point how to calculate the cutoff point that we are going to discuss now here so we have developed your model say say logistic regression model say ln of p by 1 minus p equals to say you know say beta 0 we have used beta 0 right here plus beta 1 say x so this is basic one one independent variable or predictor variable we are considering suppose this is your formula and this is your p calculation through symbiote function which you have replaced here right now look at suppose function is ready now now suppose you have a new observation like in a regression what you do in regression you do y equals to say beta 0 plus beta 1 x right in regression and once you fit the regression line regression line you put fit the regression line and for a new x say for new x say x equals to say 50 you put in the line x equals to 50 you put here x equals to 50 you will get the value of y you will get the value of y here corresponding y you find that is what your basic regression similar way same logic you can implement here also because you have fit the model graph now you have fit the model graph now so now what you do for a new candidate say new candidate say you know whether the candidate will pass or fail how much how many hours every day he study or concentrate on the research so based on that you can think about the pass or fail you will get a degree or not all these things you can think and or say you know um, say credit score so all these suppose you can take an example for a logistic regression application now suppose you found that 50 is the score of the candidate say credit civil score or, or say he studied etc so based on that you can see 50 is coming out here so p equals to 99 percent because in the you can put 50 here and beta 0 and beta 1 once you get the coefficient of beta 0 beta 1 using the software or say you know maximum likelihood function you will get the formula of this now you have to calculate the probability through the symbiote function now you put the x value a new 50 say x say, say new value and this corresponding you will get the probability like here in regression look at the regression look at my mouse look at here like look at this part so like the like the way you do the regression you put any new x you will get the y value right here similarly here also you put any new x new x you will get through this function because once the function has been developed you will get the corresponding probability look at here 0 0.85 0 0.85 so for 40 for 50 99 percent so one so clear clear case so candidate will pass because he is studying more or say civil score is high or say you know candidate age is like this whatever now so age is low or say civil score is low what also not studying effectively so therefore the probability say only 0 0.7 say 7 percent say right here you can see very closer to 0 30 it's a 23 percent so in that case you can put a cutoff so that you can put a cutoff line you can put a cutoff line so that you can classify the data of a new candidate into two categories yes or no approve or don't approve pass or fail right survive or diet so this is what the cutoff point you decide generally people decide the cutoff point as a 0 0.5 but it's not fixed you can change it suppose if you think that majority of candidates are falling near 0 0.5 say 0 0.6 etc so you can you know increase or reduce the cutoff point but generally 50 percent are a benchmark cutoff below that suppose if somebody comes with say 0 0.49 the outcome of the candidate the probability of that outcome based on the data sets based on the data sets we are getting suppose 0 0.49 so 0 0.45 0 0.49 is very closer to 50 percent right so in which category you will put that candidate approve the loan or don't approve the loan it's your decision because you have put 0 0.5 as a cutoff point you can say that no we will not approve the loan because it's a classification you decide that no we will not approve the loan but if the candidate is a 0.51 51 percent chance that he will like you know outcome of your model say based on the data set score and all these things you found probability as a y not y actual value you are deciding whether to approve the loan or not so you are finding say you know 0.51 the score of success that the person will be able to repay the loan say so you are getting 0.51 so 51 percent so you put the category put this fellow into the 
approved loan category. In that case, if somebody come up with 85% say chance that he will repay the loan, even this fellow on this 0.51% of chance of approving, uh, like repaying the loan, that fellow is also coming into the same category because you have considered into two categories. So this is what the classification point and the cutoff point. You decide. You can reduce the cutoff point by based on your rules. You can increase the cutoff point, but you can consider it into two category as a binary case of final zero or one. Two pairs. All these cases will fall into all these cases will fall above point five into one category and all these cases will fall below point 0.5 as a no category or zero category binary variable binary zero or one that's it the final outcome but effectively you are calculating the probability look at for a new candidate for any new candidate you are calculating the in a reverse manner you are calculating the p value look at the formula you are calculating the p value and here this logistic regression function formula develop through your actual relationship look at the linear combination of the data and their relationship with p are being defined through this logistic regression so this defines the range of the data sets this is the probability which is nothing but 0 to 1 the range of p the range of p is nothing but 0 to 1 0 to 1 right that's fine this is the final formula of your symbiote function which we have placed here but we are defining that through logistic formula logistic function formula because you need to define the range right so here p range is 0 to 1 but this says that it can be minus infinity to plus infinity because this is the right hand side is a linear combination which has a no limit therefore this should also have a no, no limit but p by 1, my, 1 minus p is also a, has a issue because p by 1 minus p ranges from 0 to infinity so it has a it has no ceiling but you have to cut a ceiling point right so therefore you need to put a range which and the lower side and upper side should also match put together in with the right hand side we put a ln function and which how the ln function are derived that i have shown in the previous uh, slide so this is what the overall aspects or understanding of logistic regression and if you would like to see the summary the fun, fun, first point the overall summary of you know or understanding of say you know entire logistic regression the logistic formula regression formula are being defined through this or through this this ranges from 0 to 1 and this ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity look at negative infinity to positive infinity so this the relationship are being developed now right and this is the odd ratio uh, like success by failure which has a zero but it has a positive infinity so you cannot consider this formula right you cannot define this formula rather you convert this by taking line which is very easy to understand and this formula are called the basic representative of logistic regression formula but effectively we will use this for our calculation purpose calculation purpose right now look at that therefore the final final point therefore the logistic regression squeezes the output of linear regression between 0 to 1 look at the 0 to 1 and we can easily predict the class in which it belongs like lower case or upper case and this beta 0 beta 1 or if you have a more variable say you know if you put x1 plus beta 2 x2 etc for more i will show you in example for more independent variable in that case all these coefficients can be calculated through maximum like likelihood function you cannot use least square here because it's a very complicated logistic function are there you have to take partial derivative and all these things based on the number of variable parameter beta 0 beta 1 etc so you need ln function and use the maximum likelihood formula and there you can calculate the coefficients value using software say excel stat or real stat or adrix or you know python easily this calculation are been the, the derivation of this calculation of coefficients are being done there so we are not discussing that part in detail assume that we get the beta 0 beta 1 coefficients and fit the model and then how we can apply it in real data so let's go the application process to understand the entire logistic regression model with couple of illustration.